Hey you guys, alright, so welcome back to this. <laughs> I was gonna I don't I don't know what I was gonna say. Welcome back um to my to my closet, to to my channel. Today I have so many new things to share with you guys. I'm gonna try on some new things and I wanna update you guys on some sales and some stuff that you don't wanna miss. And um just all kinds of things. I wanna talk about like my Botox and just all kinds of stuff. Which I don't have right now, currently. Um, but yeah, and I wanted to kind of update, oh, because I was going to do a beauty video today, which I know it's like, I didn't, so who cares, but it kind of is relevant because I was going to talk about, like, injectables a little bit, um, because, you know, I'll, I'll share why. I just honestly had so many new good things, and you guys know how things sell out. I have so many great things I have. Um, something from Nordstrom that I want to share with you guys, the whole L&M new collection, uh, most pieces from that, and some Abercrombie things that you don't want to miss. I don't know what the hell I was thinking putting on these nails. I feel like I'm trapped in my own body. I can't communicate. I can't type. I can't text. I don't know what people are thinking when they have nails this long. And I've had like long nails before. And I remember back in the day when I had them, like, when we had the phones that just had, like, the little clicky numbers and stuff, not, like, touch, I could do it. Because I just remember, like, texting. If you have an iPhone, how, the, wh how are you communicating? I just don't understand. Maybe it's, like, it explains why, you know, I don't know, like, celebrity, whoever you see that have these giant long nails, think about it. They're probably not great communicators. They probably don't write back on comments. They probably don't text you back right away. I've become that person, like... I can't go through and like respond to comments like I want to really quickly. I think what I'm gonna do, because I just put them on recently, and they're actually really nice. Like I do like them. Um, they're not really getting in the way of anything else because they're not crazy long, are they? <laughs> but it's just the thumbnail is aggressive. So I think. And, and I, I can't take them off because they're just on. They're, they're, they're like not going to come off for a couple weeks. So I think I'm going to file them. But that's going to be a job. So I just have not gotten around to that. Okay, whatever. I was just, I was, I was seeing the nails literally, you know, several feet away in the little finder. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is nuts. So yeah, we're in here today. If you see this happening back here, this bag I stuck here honestly to block the light because my light was like right here. You know what I mean? Right where that box is. That's all I had to stick here. But I like this background. I feel like the lighting is decent. You know, whatever. But I like filming here rather than like shoved in that corner. And um, I think what I'm going to do is maybe get like something pretty that I can prop up there because I don't really use that mirror ever when I designed the closet, I was like, yeah, like I want a, a tabletop there because I wanted this like, you know, thing of drawers. And I like that because I like having my jewelry and it's cute. But I was like, yeah, sure, add the mirror. Why? I don't, I mean, I guess when you're getting ready, it helps. But I think I'm going to get like a piece of art or maybe something like, I don't know, like even like peel and stick something pretty. Would that be weird? I don't know, or just something nice that I, nicer than a than a dang bag box, whatever, propped up on two boxes of sunglasses. You know what I mean? So y'all know we're super professional around here. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about before I get into this other stuff. Okay, so y'all saw, hopefully you saw, and I think it's in somewhere deep in like my story highlights. I don't know, but that night when we were out around the fire and we were like telling ghost stories and Livy was like cuddled up in her little blanket and then she held it up and was like, thank you, Bobble Bar, and she was so cute. I wanted to give you guys an update that usually when Bobble Bar does codes, which I have my Bobble Bar code below that you can use. It's not a sales tracking code. I do affiliate links and stuff for pretty much anything I want to, but um, it's it's a code for you guys to, sa to save a um, giant piece of fudge just with my... This was on the couch, so it probably has Waylon hair on it because I literally just told Libby, bring up your blanket, I want to show it. And she was like tracking. So yeah, dog hair fully in my mouth. What's new? Okay, so do you have a code? Usually those codes, it'll say like, you know, excludes this type of something or this collection or monogrammed, you know, personalized blankets. And they just told me, I think yesterday, 
that now you can use the coat on the blankets too. So this was the first one that I got. Um, they sent me this one and I love it so much. You guys, so you pick your colorway and you can also pick the design. I want to get another one for Olivia, like for her bed, because this has like become her little cozy, like she just carries it all the time. It's not like one of those nice blankets that you'd buy, but then you're like, this isn't cozy, I don't want to cuddle up with this. It's really nice, and it's a very like nice feeling blanket that is also cozy to cover up with. Okay, but anyways, I believe they have different sizes, but if you don't want like the name, they have ones that have these, it's like um all over smiley face logo but the eyes are your initials and it's so cool and it's kind of like color blocked like this and it's just like really kind of edgy and would look so cool just I even think it, one would be really cool to have like in my living room where everything's all white just like slung across one of those chairs or something like a really poppy fun color so anyways there's mine and um, I love mine so much I have this uh, chair in here you can probably see the little, why am I gesturing with my foot? I don't know. It's right here. And <laughs> sometimes, like, and I have my desk in here. This room is like my mom chill out cave zone. That is the best thing I ever did, putting a big fluffy chair in here that's actually really comfortable. Because I used to just have like, I have a ghost chair in here and stuff on my desk. But like, I like coming in here, bring like a drink, like have a magazine, shut the door and be like, leave me alone. I'm watching my shows for an hour. And I like to cover up with that blanket. And this is Olivia's and she picked out her own colors and which ones she wanted and it's just really really nice but I really do like the pink and the red I like that whole motif but anyways just wanted to give you guys a heads up that the code works for those two and if you are gonna get anything from there of course they have a lot of good stuff but um, I just got these they're a little stud and I believe they're gold-plated uh, but I will link and you can look at all the details but they're beautiful little butterfly stud earrings that look like they have little diamonds in them and then I'll link to my hoops as well which I love that are on sale right now but so many good things okay we're gonna try on stuff we're gonna update what did, what did I want to update on uh, oh our new podcast just went up I said I wouldn't talk about this in every video and I'm not but it's brand new okay and I have to have to have to thank you guys I say it every Brad and I say it every podcast but so overwhelmed with the amount of you that are listening and it's just been so much fun we have got so much positive feedback and nothing but positive feedback it's been wonderful and again like I said this is our space here we talk about things but Brad's never going to come in and give his take on like his thoughts on Erica Jane or Britney's conservatorship or what we did last week or a fight that we had literally like on the podcast this week we kind of have a it's a little tiff. It's a minor tiff, okay? Um, but that's just not what we do here. I can talk about those things, but you never get, like, Brad's point of view. And so many things have happened lately. And just in... We have three episodes up, and they are just, like, full. They're about an hour each, which is great, I think, for a podcast. I always love a longer podcast. You can listen to it, you know, to and from work. Or you have something that you can listen to for a while without having to, like, find something else. So, anyways, just what it's been so nice. Thank you. I will link below to where you can listen to it. If you're on my Instagram, I have a little highlight that says podcast where I link to, you know, how to listen and the different episodes and stuff. But it's been really fun. And I know that if you're watching here, you're probably someone that subscribes to it as well. And we really do thank you guys. We've got so many fun things coming up. And yeah, we just got back yesterday late from, from, I'm still like, can you tell I'm kind of like still, maybe not, I don't know, I feel like I'm still kind of in vacation recovery mode. We took a little post birthday trip to a casino, which was really fun. We're going to kind of like break all that down together in the next episode, but you know, here I never really go into detail. I never even say like that we've even been on a vacation, but I always love coming back home and just, but we're going to kind of break all that down in the next podcast too brad and i are going to talk about the trip so yeah i've got my hair clipped up in one of those uh clips from chanel that i swiped from the beauty counter when i was shopping for the anniversary sale and denise and i were done like we were about to ring all the stuff and i was like i need one of the chanel bronze universals so we go over there and of course it's like 
I think I got there to shop at like 8 a.m. that morning, but you know, it was the store was just kind of starting to open by this point, but there was no one working the Chanel counter. She was like, let's just look around. So we like literally went through all of the drawers and like snatched all kind of stuff, like all kind of good stuff. These are really good clips. So I put my hair up while I was doing my makeup and I thought I'm just going to leave them up. They're like these black rubber clips. So if you ever go to the Chanel counter, and I always say, get some of those eye patches that say Chanel. I'd be like, I need it as a refill because yeah, if you did buy that kit, that's like the roller ball, which is, you get a lot of serum, so you will need more eye patches. But even if you don't have that, like the little eye patches are really cute. And they'll give you those. They'll just give you those at the counter. And like powder puffs and like little jars, all kinds of, I mean, we were, it was shameful. And I did show that in my uh, second anniversary sale video, which was the one I guess from last week where I was unpackaging all of my beauty items. I showed you guys the shameful bag of Chanel stuff. Um, that I made off with, but I guess just go and be like, yeah, can I, can I clip my hair back? And then just leave. Because I think they're just little clips. I'm not saying like steal them, but that's what they are. Okay, that's what they're for, okay? They're in like a little disposable thing. They're not going to use it on more than one person, right? So obviously take it. It's yours. But they're rubber and they're just real good. They're like those that, you know, you just kind of clip back and put your hair back, but I'm like, what? I just, I needed it to get out of my face and I just left it. Speaking of my face... So, I mean, let's talk about it. So, y'all know, ever since I've gotten Botox, everything I've done, I always tell you guys I'm very open because that's what we do. I don't think anyone ever owes it to anyone to explain anything that they've done or haven't done. But if you're, like, out there, like, if you're talking about beauty, and I'm going to say, this is so great, guys, but I'm not going to share that I have a whole, like, crap ton of Botox or that I'm, I've got filler, you know, maybe that's why my lips look better or that, you know what I'm saying? And I like that. I like sharing those treatments just as I would anything else. And then, you know, there's times when I did the video on my boobs and stuff and I never wanted to make that a thing because I knew that's a topic that a lot of people just really lean into because you're going to get a crap ton of views on something like that. But I didn't want to push anybody or influence anybody to get something that is serious. Do you know what I mean? Because your experience may not be as good as mine. And it's just... It just makes me feel uneasy to talk about or suggest something that may not be in your best interest. I did do a video on it. Um, I think it was a couple years ago. It was like answering all your questions, even that one. And I didn't want to be like, boobs, because then I'm like, <sighs> again. And, and I think in that video at the beginning, because that's when I kind of addressed everything, I explained it really well. But, uh, you know, but on the other hand, I don't think... You know, I don't want to influence people to get surgery or anything, but at the same time, I do want to tell people if I am, you know what I'm saying? Not because I feel like I have to, but because I want to. I really do like sharing, and I would have loved to share every little dirty detail, every little ins and out, but I'm like, I just don't think that's helpful because I didn't do that before. I made my own, you know, researched my own stuff. I didn't compare my experience to anyone else. I you know, talk to doctors, major, but in that video, I give you guys really good advice and, di and I did get into it, but something like Botox or injectable, which those things can be risky too. go to someone reputable, go to a doctor's office, get someone that is a doctor, someone that's an RN, that's a certified injector. The person that does mind Missy, she is amazing. She's an RN. She works under a plastic surgeon. She is like known kind of there to be like so good with the fill. She's the filler like expert and like really smart about that and just I know other people that have her do their stuff like so many people that I know go to her and a lot of you guys have too which is so cool but yeah just reputable go to a reputable place go to someone that knows what the hell they're doing these Botox parties can be so scary because it's not just like oh I want to get Botox like you know shoot me up it's not a one-size-fits-all thing if you put certain, you know, uh, units and the same that I do with another friend, she might look totally different than me afterwards, or it might do something different to her face. And it's so dependent on your face and how you move. And right, mine lasts usually three to four months. I think it's been over, it's been six or seven, I don't even know, it's been a long time. Mine is totally worn off, okay? And usually what happens is that like my eyebrows start, this is what my face wants to naturally do. All the time my eyebrows just pull themselves up when I talk I'll notice like I'll be sitting at dinner and I'll be like this and then I'll have to like I've always done that you know like years ago I'd even be like okay like, 
push, you know what I'm saying? But then some people that do have that, you know, that have naturally done that for a while, if they get the wrong kind of Botox or just average, bo or just what works for someone else to like relax their forehead, it might droop their eyelids, which is terrifying. So again, you have to go t to someone that's reputable, but for me, I need a little bit of that. I just want my head to be like this, like relaxed, you know? so that I'm not pulling up all the time. And that can cause like tension headaches sometimes. Like I used to get headaches all the time and I don't know if it's because of that. Um, I don't really much anymore. Again, don't know if that's related, but I do know sometimes like my head feels tired. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I don't have this that forehead or that skin that has like, I'm not prone to lines. But the reason I got the Botox was because I do have one here and it does look crepey here. And your whole forehead when you get up on yourself can look pretty crepey. And when you get the Botox, it's like glass. It's just like juicy. I don't know how to, it's not filler. It's not gonna like plump you up, but it's just, you just look good, okay? It shouldn't make you look like this. It can if someone like Fs you up, but okay. But whatever, so I don't know if I am even dying to go back and get the Botox because sometimes I look at myself with the Botox and I think I look too much like like I love it but then I'm like sometimes I do want to kind of when I'm talking to my kid or like I know that there's times where like I've gotten upset or like I'm telling Brown something and I'm like you know my face isn't moving and it's like not that I want my face to look crazy either but you know what it is? I've heard all this time, like when you get Botox or whatever, I've heard people say this before, like, you know, if you start doing it a lot, I, I swear I'm getting to something here. Like if you start doing it a lot, are you going to then, when it wears off, feel like you look like shit? Like I've heard a lot of people say that, like when it wears off. And I'm like, yeah. It's not that the Botox made you look more wrinkly and worse, it's that it made you look so good. You're obviously paying hundreds of dollars to get it. You're so, ex you know, obviously, because it works. Well then yeah, hell yeah, when it wears off, you're gonna look like, you know? So, but I, but I don't know. I'm not like dying to go back. I get, I get baby Botox. I don't get my whole, it's like just such a baby amount. I think last time I went, she's like, I, you're the part, I put the least amount of Botox in you that, I, that I've ever done in anybody. You know, I just get a very tiny amount because again, I, I have an expressive face, but I don't have a, you know what I mean? Like I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't get like a bunch of lines or anything and maybe it's, getting it is preventative you know it's keeping me from having that because i am kind of like oh i do want a little bit but i'm not dying to go back and i guess i just wanted to tell you guys that because it's not like you know there's a one size fits all thing to that and i know i've done videos on injectables but still i get so many questions about it still and i can say oh watch this video watch that video but i don't know i, don't, I just wanted to talk about it today because i need to make my appointment to go back because <laughs> it's time i think to get a little more on my lips because the whole time i've had my lips done how long have I been doing this? Two years, maybe? A little longer than that? A little longer than that, I think. Almost, no. Yeah, maybe almost, I don't even know, two and a half years. Start very small with injectables. Don't go and be like, oh, I want something. Because it's hard to take it out, but if you do it little by little, you can go every few weeks and say, well, I want a little more, a little more, a little more, until you get to the point it's like perfect. And with filler, it lasts like 10 months. So you don't need to get it all the time, but it does start messing with your mind because you get your lips done and then you're like, oh, I want a little more, I want a little more, I want a little more. And thankfully I did mine little by little, but I had never experienced them getting smaller. I was always going and just getting them touched up a little here and there where you never saw and said, oh, wow, Tiffany, you've gotten your lips done. You look like a different person. I started it so little by little by little for, and I shared it the second I got it. Pretty, I think like a month later because no one even noticed. They were just like, wow, you look really nice. You know what I mean? But then I, you know, because I was kind of like just seeing how it looked. And of course, then I took you through the whole thing. But it is good to do it that way. Do you know what I mean? And I think it makes the shape of your lip nicer because they can kind of work to shape your lips because everyone's lips are so different. Mine are different on each side. And, you know, you might have a scar or something that's just, they have to do something different. I don't know. But little by little is the way to go. But this is the first time that I have noticed it wearing away, like when I feel. And sometimes when I look in pictures, I'm like, my top lip, it, I, I can kind of tell like, it's because my bottom lip's always been kind of good. She doesn't put much in that. But um, the top lip, I'm kind of like just physically feeling it. I'm like, I do, do need a little more. So I kind of want to go back and do that soon. And when I do, of course, I'll share that with you. But I don't know if I'm going to get Botox again. And I am probably going to regret that and then just want it again. But I don't know if I'm going to get it again. 
but I feel like I, I don't say I need it, but it's, it's a preventative thing. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Got so many great things. A little update on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Every year, I think we never learn our lesson, or I just want to tell you guys that you feel good about it, or you're not worried, like, oh, I'm not going to be able to get this. They always restock, and you'll be able to get what you want. Just be patient, and you do have to work a little bit. <laughs> like, you do have to kind of, like, refresh a little, and... You know what I mean? Like, check for restocks. Earrings. These earrings are in stock, and I think three different metals. These are my favorites. This necklace is my new favorite necklace. I love it so much. Such a good price. After the sale, it's going to be much more expensive, but it's just such a cool necklace, and it is... Um, my I bought the gold version, but they also have silver. I kind of wanted to wear this today. I might put this on when I'm done filming. Of comfort. I'm not super, like you know, putting on a ton of layers or things that are hard to style, and I'm not a super dressy person, you know, I throw on things that are casual but cute. But uh, every time I talk about this, I say I think this is one of my favorite pieces of clothing I own. It's this romper, they even have it in a long, like, pant version, so I'll link to that as well. But it's the perfect thing that you can wear now, you can wear it in the spring, it will take you through to the fall, it's just the perfect outfit. and. You know, I might put it on like with flip flops or something. Do you know what I mean? Like throw it on with flip flops, but then put it on with heels at night and like a clutch. And it is like a super put together, like fancy outfit, but it's one piece. It's like, how can you not look put together? Do you know what I mean? I just, I love a good romper. Dresses are great too, like because, you know, they're one piece. But something about a romper, I think, and it has like the little tie, it just looks. A little more put together. I don't know. I feel like I've had this for a very long time. And when I talked about it before, it sold out like that. I think by the time I posted the video, it was already sold out. And then, you know, I would post it whenever I would see it back in stock. And you guys would like, I mean, it was ridiculous how many people like got and loved this romper. Hopefully you love it like I do. But it's just always sold out. And so I was so surprised when I was looking through like on my Nordstrom app, I was looking through my orders because I was looking at things that I got during the sale and seeing like, you know, what was in stock or whatever. And I saw this and I clicked on it and I was shocked that it's in stock in all sizes in three colors. So the red, I obviously love the red, but they have white, which is a new one that I haven't seen. I love the white and then navy, which I also have, but something about the red, you guys, and I'm in a medium. I always get a medium, like in a one piece thing. I'm pretty long waisted, but, um, but yeah, go ahead and not, don't size up, up. I'm pretty much always a medium in most things. You know, I, I like, I don't know, I'm in between a small and a medium. It just depends. Such a good outfit. And you know what? I will. I'll wear it. So go to my Instagram. I'm sure you've seen me wear it in videos and on Instagram before. But you can head to my Instagram and see me um, wearing that in an outfit. Can you see that? No. That chair's really great, too. for In a closet, in a bedroom, wherever you're getting dressed. It's always nice to have that chair where you, like, dump everything, too, right? Okay, so, before I get in to the Abercrombie things, because I have a few updates on some Abercrombie, with this long um, crochet dress, I did get the slip to go underneath, so I want to show you guys how that looks. And then I have this cute little t-shirt dress. The L&M stuff, you guys. Okay, besides the fact that Jen is, like, one of my very best friends... Her clothing line I have been wearing for years and years and years, and it's just so, like, so wearable, cute, special. I don't know. I just always feel good in it, and it's something, like, when we went on our trip, it's, like, all I packed. I just, you know, I just got in this stuff, and I was, like, throwing a couple t-shirts, a couple sweatshirts, pair of leggings, I'm done. Do you know what I mean? So, it was just nice, and they're just, ugh, they feel so good. They're just so great. So this is the set that is like, it's back there, the green. You know, this also came in the green. And then the picnic sweater, the red one is also um, in this shape. Like it's this top. But I love it when she does a set, especially when she does a set with these shorts. The shorts, you guys, are what makes it. Okay, and this color... I've really been drawn to this color lately. This you can wear open, drape it over your shoulders, wear it as, you know, a sweater, like unbutton it and actually like wear it over something like as a cardigan. But with these, I just think they're so flattering to wear just buttoned up. They are the perfect length. They're the perfect V. They're not too deep. They're substantial, but it's like a cool material. What makes her sets so special are these shorts. 
but they are meant to, they hit kind of right at your belly button, right? At your natural waist. They're like thick, they kind of, I feel, kind of like hold you in and not, not hold you in, but it's like, it's just more, what am I trying to say? Just flattering. So I'm a medium in the shorts and then I'm a small in the top and I just, it's just the perfect little outfit. It's so cute. T-shirts, okay? She does t-shirts so well, and her t-shirts just keep getting better and better. Okay, so the first, this is my favorite t-shirt, the first t-shirt. Uh, it's kind of like a matcha green. It's so cute. I love the little tennis motif that she's putting on everything, and um, it's just super cute, easy to wear. I'm going to put some outfits together with these eventually. They're, they're t-shirts, I mean, you guys get it, but... In most of her t-shirts, I'm a small. None of these run super fitted. They have like, I wouldn't say oversized. They're just a relaxed fit. So this is a small and um, it's just perfect. So I love her cha-cha motif, you know, this the sweatshirts. This one has been sort of like revamped, like a little cha-cha motif. And I really like, this is my favorite one that she's ever done. These remind me so much of you know, just like shirts that you'd wear in the 90s, kind of like something preppy that says something, I don't know, but the Beverly Hills. And then this one, the Palm Beach, I love that color. This is cool too. I love how she's done the cha-cha stuff kind of in a different, um, in a different way. And this one too, this one has that like designer, thick quality, like luxe. You know what I mean? Just those like really luxe t-shirts and the color is cool you could wear it with anything but it's just kind of um like an understated color but it's kind of like a soot you know cool okay now I'm gonna put this on next because this is so cute so another set the cha-cha terry cloth when I saw that she had a terry cloth set I was like yes especially like these are things that you can wear now summer but then also like going in to fall with the longer sleeves but a terry cloth material is just so cool for summer the inside feels nice and cool there's just something about it I love this I love the cha-cha design I'm a small top and a medium bottom again usually when she has sets um, I always kind of do that but then it's funny because in her um, the joggers I'm always a small bottom and then a medium sweatshirt it's a lot okay whatever I that's why I do these videos and tell you guys the sizes because I just Mm, this is not mm, my little clip ain't hanging on so well anymore. Okay, so update on this crocheted dress because I found the perfect slip dress to go under it that's like buttery. It's not flimsy, it, but it's not like so like constricting. It's so nice. You could wear it with so many things. It's just such, I think, like an essential piece to have, like a nude slip type of slip slip dress, slip dress, slippy type of slip dress. So stand up on my little stool here, I'm like the professional that I am. Um, the most perfect crocheted cover-up dress, right? Wear this over a swimsuit, wear this over anything. But I wanted to wear this like a dress as well. And it's, you know, you have to have just the right thing to put under it. So I got this slip dress, you know, you saw it came like, you know, comes about to right here is where the slip comes, this nude slip. This is such a nice piece that I thought, you know, I want to be able to wear it as a cover-up, but then I also want to then, you know, wear it out to dinner. It's just one of those items that is so versatile, and I just really love it. So I'm going to link to this. The slip dress itself comes in a bunch of different colors, and I believe the slip does as well, but I just thought this was such a cute combo. So finally, you guys, I feel like tops like this are kind of having a moment, not that they such a classic thing right like a button down oversized like I see brands calling it like a boyfriend button down or whatever and then you wear it super oversized with a pair of shorts you know and it's just kind of effortless and you know I feel like we have classic tops like that I will link to some that are good from the same brand but I thought this was such a cooler way to wear it and you can get things from Abercrombie in short, regular, and tall. I did get the regular. I probably could have done the tall, but it's not too short to where it's like uncomfortable. You could wear like a little pair of shorts under it or something if you even wanted to. It's just the perfect like casual, cool, effortless vibe top. And the material is really nice. It's not like a starchy, you know, real stiff like cotton button down it's just kind of like soft material has little pockets 
uh, it feels like it wouldn't really like hold on to wrinkles or anything like that. Probably very packable. I need to get these nails off. Help me. Help me. I, need... I feel like helpless. Okay, like I can't communicate. Like it's easy to do stuff. Like I'm not saying, oh, it's like I'm fumbling around. It's just typing, texting. Like I dread when someone texts me because I'm like, oh my gosh, like how am I gonna get everything? Like I'm texting like this, like it's not good. It's not good. So yeah, tonight if I have time, I'm gonna try to like saw these babies off. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I know we talked about a lot of different things, but um, it was kind of fun just hanging out in here and having a little closet convo. And hopefully you found some things that you might want to check out. Also link to anything else I mentioned, of course, the earrings, anything else. If you guys want to listen to our podcast, we would love it. And um, we're just having the best time over there. So come hang out with us there. A totally new thing. If you watch this, you're not going to get like the same info there. You know what I mean? It's just a totally different thing and vice versa. But um, anyways, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for being with me today and hanging out in here. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.